50 Cent, what's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up in the morning? I, well, I, I'm usually thinking, where am I, where am I at? Like, what, because if we touring or we somewhere else, like, I look around and say, oh, who is this bitch that's with me? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said the first thing he do. Who is this bitch that's with me? Not only did we motivate our youngsters to step up the game and, and you know, and be something on the West Coast, but they motivating us like nigga. Boy. <laughs> you know? They flipping and, a script on us right now real tough. For real, yeah. And I, I'm loving that shit. I'm like, man, I, I, I just like the good music. My favorite thing about what goes on in my world is uh is to see the next the next homie like, you know, catch 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 on to what the formula is mm -hmm. and then apply it and then see this nigga get a house and see this nigga throw a party and see this nigga pull up in his car and just get used to it. Mm -hmm. You know, not not with somebody just excited to have a fucking uh, 745 Beamer that's gonna be the one and only time he shine, he fall. I'm talking about the niggas that's gonna make a career out of this. Mm -hmm. And you see a youngster come into it and survive it and learn it and he like, he gets it. That's the real shit. So how did it happen for you? Did, did Dr. Dre drive through Compton in a low rider drinking a 40 ounce? and stop by the liquor store, ran out of gas, and was like, yeah. hey man, is that Kendrick Lamar? Oh, I mean, how did it go down? Did he, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because it just don't sound like no regular hood story that, you know, yeah. he could just be riding through the hood and just bump into that's you. Exactly. You just don't bump into nah, things like that. That's what I want to tell the world. That's a good-ass story, like a motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> let me know, man, because I want, I mean, this is the GGN News Network. You get this your opportunity to let the world know. I mean, it's 100 million people watching right now. Oh, shit. Well, uh, Paul Rosenberg, he heard the music first. He hit Dre up and said, yo, it's a kid from Compton, nigga, that's crazy. He seen a video on YouTube, uh, checked out my interviews, and he said he, he, he liked it, not just the music, but just me as a person in general, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You fuck with people with music all day, but when you poly with them, they don't have that same energy. It's a, it's a negative vibe, so. Yes, sir. We locked in, man, and we clicked. It was chemistry right there, so. Dude, and Kappa and Jill, it was a rap battle, and they gave, it was, the battle was on Staten Island, so they gave it to the home favorite, and but he really didn't. Yeah, they he really yeah, didn't yeah, win. Yeah, yeah. He's a dope nigga though, but you know, they came to the whole favorite. But that, that night though, Dirk was like, well, I'm robbing a nigga for the reward money. You know what I'm saying? Well nigga, if I can't get it, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get it. Nigga, but I was like, nah, nah, that's my man's kid. I live out here, that's my man's, you know, original. He ain't, he ain't, yeah, you still eat honey buns. Because back then you couldn't even eat pork pork couldn't even be in your bread, nigga. And he was still eating honey buns and shit. Nigga, like, we watching every piece of pork you eat, you motherfucker. You, you ain't righteous, nigga. Nigga, eating a honey bun. Oh, so how'd you get your name Corrupt? You know what I'm saying? How'd you settle in on Corrupt? Because you know everybody had another name before they became right. who the fuck they was. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know I was Snoop Rockski. You know what I'm right. saying? Well, you know, how did you settle in on Corrupt? And what was the name that you was riding with before you became Corrupt? Well, first thing is, I've been rocking the mic since eight, right? Mm hmm So... When I was 12, I was serving 18 and 19 year olds in Philly, mm. right? And they called me the kid. First thing they say, what you rapping? Where's the kid at? Then it changed into uh, uh, K-I-D. Mm. You understand me? I had to abbreviate it, K-I-D, you understand me? <laughs> so I kept the K, right? And then when I got to California at 16, at the Hawthorne Mall, the Hawthorne Six, Lou Zinger, Everywhere it was corrupt is the one from this particular I serve everybody. And you was corrupt then? Nope. I was I was I was K Rock. Oh, K Rock. I changed my name to K Rock. That's the third name. You didn't say it, nigga. Come on.